We have another update to Lars Nels now. It's kinda surprising because this game fell off the grid quite hard. If it's due to the mechanics or just overload of shooters on the quest, since at this point we have so many choices. We have a competitive playlist now, which essentially means every player or bot. <laughs> will be able to choose any specialist that's in the game with power slays attached to them already. So the point of it is to level the field with the balance and just overpowerness of the actual characters. If you have skills to dominate the matches, you should be able to just excel at everything, apparently. I'm not really playing Larsenals nowadays, but it's a good idea for people who didn't try some other specialists that were not unlocked. This kinda removes this collecting based gameplay and introduces the game anew like you would have everything already. The question now is, what do I want to play with? Vody is kinda interesting because it's all melee and I only kill them, never get <laughs> destroyed by them, so. I don't really know the skills as well. I should read in the main menu, right? Do I just punch like that? Oh. <laughs> the enemy is downloading the data. They are close to winning. Oh my god, that's so awkward, because it's a shooting game. <laughs> Fizz them! <laughs> okay, well that was fast. Um, he's not for me, <laughs> that's all. Let's do Imperia. I'm an archer, so... Oh, I can heal him as well. Okay. I really should read the descriptions of specialists, huh? Kinda slow, like I can't rapid speed. But if I have a precision, then that should be pretty good. Where did he disappear? <laughs> Okay, you kinda need to find your groove in between the shots. It's not like it's not smooth, it's just there's a rhythm to it. I think there's a little bit of auto aim. Run to me, tribe. Oh my god. Dude, what a I like her though. Into the 
shadows. Take flight. I need to remember that I can heal others. Oh wow. <laughs> like a healing assassin. A lot. That wasn't that bad. For a first time on a character. Let's do Chi. It's like a healer, right? There's a stasis. Oh my god. <laughs> they're going up from top. Watch out, they're going through the stairs. Yeah, this is like full on support, okay. I should be <laughs> doing that. They're contesting a fuel point. Oh shit, I got bit. We're gonna lose that fuel. Yeah, they're near the galactic. Watch out. Great, now we're making control of the area. They're taking what's in good, now maintain control of the area. This is so like interesting that can just be immortal. Oh my gosh. Ah, damn. Great. Now defend the Dual building. <laughs> They're taking what's illegally ours. We have control. I'll distract them. All right, now buy me some time. Save me. Okay, I made it somehow. Can I attack actually with this healing stuff? I'm there for fail. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay. They captured a fuel point. Get it back. That's pretty versatile though. Hold the area. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Maybe not in close range. Ultimate shield. This is a good combo with this Titan. definitely cool to try out stuff that you could not before. It's definitely good to do the research beforehand to know what they do, but you can't do it actually if they're not unlocked. That sucks. But the mode itself seems more compelling than just the normal ones. At the end of the day, the only stuff that changes are power slates, which have some kind of impact on the gameplay depending on your playstyle. It would be also nice to know which power slates are. <laughs> in the competitive mode, but I guess it's just a matter of clarity and more information. I actually encountered some people that played this game, so it's not completely dead and let's see what's more to come with it.